Hi there, it's Mr. Clark. Welcome to Lesson 2.5.3, where we will be talking about more form tools. So in the previous lesson, we looked at repeat signs and endings. There are some more structures that can help us out in not having to copy out things by hand. So there are four terms that we are going to be concerned with. Again, these terms are Italian, because that is where people were using them and then propagated them to other people who liked them, etc., etc., you have the abbreviation DC, which stands in this case for da capo, and it means from the head, literally, or from the beginning of the piece of music. DS, dal segno, from the sign. Al fine means to the end, al coda means to the coda. So this is a, um, it's kind of like a menu where you choose one of these two, and then you choose one of these two. So you could get like DC, al fine. You could get DS Alcoda, you could get DS Alfine, or DC Alcoda. Those are your four options. The first half tells you where to go back to, either the beginning of the piece of music or to the sign. And the second half tells you where to end, either at the end of the piece, which we'll, we'll talk about, um, or going to the coda. So, Dalsenio tells you to start from the sign. This is the sign. It looks fun. Uh, it's kind of like a fancy S with a straight line, and then dot, dot. Great, that's a sign. Um, so the um, other thing to note, a couple other things to note, al fine, the end of the piece of music comes when you have your final bar line. So music, 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 final bar line, that's going to be the end. And if you have a DC al fine structure, you'll write fine there as well. You might have more music written after it. If you have the DC al fine, that means you're going to go back to the beginning and end when you see the word fine, and that will be accompanied by a final bar line. Um, and then al coda, you keep playing until you see the words to coda, uh, at which point you jump to the coda. A coda, uh, coda literally means tail, and it's just this extra section at the end of a piece of music that you would uh, jump to in case you have this sort of coda structure. Uh, and when you have a coda, you're also going to want this fun little coda symbol. It's like a zero with a cross through it. Um, anytime you're dealing with any of these things, it's nice to place a double bar line. This is not a final bar line. A final bar line is thin, then thick. A double bar line is two thin bar lines. And all this all this means is like, hey, pay attention, something weird is coming up. Uh, it might also indicate a key signature change, a time signature change, uh, just a new section of the piece, whatever that means. Uh, but in this case, we're going to use it in conjunction with these form symbols. Um, one last note before I show you some examples. Unless otherwise specified, you should not take the repeats on any of these DCDS structures. And anytime you come across endings on a DC or DS, uh, you would take the last of them. So here are some examples. We're, we'll start well, we'll start out with a DC al fine. Da, 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 da. So a couple things to note. Start at the beginning. We see a double bar line. I'm sorry, we see a final bar line, but do we stop? No, not yet, because we see there's more music that we haven't played yet. It wouldn't make sense to end the piece when there's more music still to be played. So we keep on going. We see our DC alfine with our double bar line. DC from the head from the beginning. And we end when we see the word fine, which is right here with our final bar line. So that's what's going on. Here's the next example. DS alfine. Da, 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 da. So the only difference here is that instead of going back to the beginning, we go back dal segno to the sign, which is here, and then we end at fine. Here we have a DC al coda structure. Da, 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 da. So what's going on here is same sort of thing, DC al coda. Again, we ignore two coda the first time because, you know, otherwise we'd never get to play this music. So we go all the way through, back to the beginning. We take the coda. We have our little coda sign here. And then the coda is marked here. Generally, you want your coda to be on a separate line. 
Um, I've indented it here. Uh, you want it to be visually separate so that it's clear where you're jumping to. Um, and again, you have your coda sign. So it's like matching. Woo. Uh, it's hard to draw a straight line when you're just like looking at it on this. It's a lot easier when you... Anyway. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. And then the final possible combination is a DS alcoda. Da, 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 Same principles. So going back to this example, um, our very first one, I'm going to put in a very simple repeat structure. By simple, I mean, actually, let's have some endings. So, da, 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 da. So we've gotten through it the first time. Da, da. We take our DC. Da, da. We ignore the first ending. We ignore any repeats and we go straight to the last ending. Da. That is the default. If it says something like take repeats on DS, then do that. Um, but the default assumption is that you're not going to. That is what I have for now. I will see you next time.